Instead of a primary in May, Kentucky Republicans will choose their candidate for president during a caucus on Saturday. The switch was originally made to allow Senator Rand Paul to run for president and Senate at the same time. While he's dropped out of the presidential race, Kentucky Republican leaders still say switching to a caucus was a good move. Miranda Combs helps us understand the caucus. We will have to select a permanent chairman. And then we will all go into our different caucuses. It's been a while, 1984, since we've had one. There were four choices caucusers had to choose from. Former Vice President Walter Mondale, Senator Gary Hart, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, or uncommitted. And because of that, memories are blurry or non-existent as to how this works. I have no delegates for the Mondale caucus. I have three delegates awarded to the Hart caucus. I have 11 delegates awarded to the Jackson caucus. I have three delegates awarded to the uncommitted caucus. The caucuses have been used for a long time. They were the original way that people met and talked about nominating people for office. Don Doogie has been teaching political science at Transylvania since before the last Kentucky caucus. You have all sorts of caucuses that exist. And he has his opinions on them. I don't know whether it's fair or not, but it's stupid. He's referring to the Iowa New Hampshire caucuses, where less than 2% of the nation set the pace for the presidential race. But he says Kentucky won't be a trendsetter or decision maker, even though half the reason the Republican governing body wanted a caucus was to be more relevant in picking the Republican nominee. Because we've gone so long for so many years where it was just kind of a formality as to, you know, by the time our May primary rolled around, we essentially uh, had no influ influence in the process because the nominee had already been chosen. The expectation was that there would be a lot more participation when they decided to do it and decided to do it early. But look at how many have dropped out of the Republican primary already including Rand Paul. The Kentucky caucus allowed for Rand Paul to run for both president and U.S. Senate re-election. Well, it really defeats the purpose for which they had the caucus, which was to allow him to double dip to run both for senator and president. Is it ironic that Rand Paul isn't even in it now? Well, I think that when we approved this caucus, we knew that was a possibility, and everyone accepted the fact that you know running for president is, is not easy. They say the caucus process will be easy. We're at one of the locations in Lexington. This is Northeast Christian Church. There are several others in Fayette County. Most counties, though, will just have one location to vote. They say it'll be a lot like a primary. The only difference is party representatives and candidates can be present. In terms of candidates themselves, they are welcome to go to any caucus location unannounced on caucus day. Some have been here this week. Dr. Ben Carson was in Lexington on Monday. So when you see my calm demeanor, that's a sign of strength. Super Tuesday brought Trump to Louisville. Everything we do, it's all wonderful, but if we don't vote, that's not so good. Marco Rubio was expected to be here Friday, but canceled. Their presence showing, as Mike Biaggi believes, that this is still a race, one he's excited Kentucky is playing a part in. The key thing is, are they still competing? Are those that are still running still needing Kentuckians' support to win the nomination? And that is most certainly the case. And it's hard to know what voter turnout will be for Saturday's caucus, particularly since it's been three decades since we've had one here. But if you look at primaries from the recent past, they tend to have pretty low turnout, except for presidential election years. But one of the main differences between the caucus and a primary is that taxpayers aren't footing this bill. So, Miranda, if taxpayers aren't paying, then who is? The Republican Party for Kentucky is by way of Rand Paul, and that was part of the deal that he would fund this. They don't know how much. It's going to cost though until after it's over. All right, Miranda, thank you. Sure. And as those results are first released at 7 on Saturday night, you can join WKYT political uh, editor Bill Bryant and myself for special coverage right here on WKYT.